It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. Hello and welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat DiCibato from the Southtown Star newspaper. And we are at Labriola Bakery Cafe in Oak Brook, 3021 Butterfield Road, inside the Promenade Plaza. Lit up, you talk about festive, this whole mall very festive and once you walk in the labriola bakery cafe if you can't get in the holiday spirit there's something definitely wrong with you a couple guests on tonight's show first off mount carmel hockey coach craig ferguson will be our guest we're talking caravan hockey then we're going to have on Han hans larson general manager of labriola bakery cafe in oak brook all right couple things big holiday special here at labriola bakery cafe purchase hundred dollars worth of gift cards They'll hook you up with a $20 bonus gift card. So you can go for $25 gift cards and they'll, they'll hook you up as long as it reaches 100. So you're good to go. Two additional Labriolas are opening up. A Bakery Cafe, 535 North Michigan. That's going to open up in January. And then they're going to open up a pizza bar on 151 North Michigan Avenue in Chicago. That's more like in April. All right, folks, we are going to go to a beggar's pizza timeout. When we return, Craig Ferguson, Mount Carmel Hockey. We'll be our guest. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a pepperoni, sausage, green peppers and onions. Don't forget the extra cheese, large pizza. Oh, by the way, I also make house calls. Beggar's Pizza, we lay it on thick. At Standard Bank, we help our neighbors make tomorrow brighter. Families count on us for personal service and banking convenience. Business owners find smart solutions and the resources to capitalize on new opportunities. It's one thing to locate in a community, quite another to invest in it. That's what we do at Standard Bank. We're people you know, services that make your life easier, and financial strength you can count on. We're Standard Bank, in your neighborhood. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. If you're just joining us, we are at Labriola Bakery Cafe, 3021 Butterfield Road in Oak Brook. And our first guest, first guy back, Craig Ferguson. I got to get this right, Mount Carmel hockey coach. Fergie. That's correct. Thanks for coming back oh, thank here, man. Thank you for having me. I think the last time you were on, were you here? Right? I was here, A couple yeah. years yeah. ago? Yeah. Tell you, man. The guy had one of the shortest retirements in a history <laughs> of retirement, 16 months. But when the alma mater comes calling, you answer the call, so you just couldn't stay away, huh? Well, it certainly wasn't designed that way, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I, I actually didn't leave coaching at all. I mean, I was, you know, I coached a youth team last year, and, and I had, you know, I'm doing that now also, yeah. and so I'm doing a little, a little, bit, little right? double duty right now, but. Uh, you know, it's going fine. Yeah. Well, obviously, Mount Carmel's hockey program, Mount Carmel in general, means a lot to you. 79 grad, right? Mm -hmm. 79 yes. grad. Um, so how much did the whole connection between you and Mount Carmel play a part in you coming out of retirement like oh, this? I, I think it was huge. Um, it, probably the, the biggest factor. I don't think, uh, you know, I wasn't longing to do this, but, um, you know, I, I just, uh, the way things were headed, you know, myself and some others at Mount Carmel were really worried that there wasn't going to be a Mount Carmel hockey program in a year or two. And, you know, I think uh, some of the, you know, coaches and Tom Curro and my own coach, John Duran and Dave Curro and Nick Ichancio and people like that, that, you know, I don't know if I'd be able to look those people in the eye if I just kind of 
you know, washed my hands and said, oh, it's not my problem. So yeah. I mean, that, that probably led me to come back more than anything. And one of the most storied players in Mount Carmel history, and you, you coached there up until year 2000, four straight Kennedy Cup titles, and, you know, coincidentally, they haven't won a Kennedy Cup since this guy left in 2000 for health-related reasons, we should mention. So um, how would you categorize the progress? It's only been literally weeks on the job here, so... Well, it, it, I mean, it's rough. Uh, it, you know, obviously, we're, you know, you can look at the standings, and, and I don't look at those either anymore, so... Um, <laughs> You know, but we're we're looking at things, you know, victories that are a little bit different than wins and losses right now, and just trying to change the culture of the boys and the attitude and the effort and things like that. And you know, we feel we're making progress with that. So yeah. it, obviously, it's not going to show up, you know, on the scoreboard for some time. But um, yeah, we we have to start there at least. So yeah, baby steps. Like you said yeah. the other night, you guys scored four third period goals. Yeah. That's something yeah. that you hope carries you into the next right. game and right. build some confidence, right? Exactly, yeah. Definitely. I mean, that, that, that's the key. Um, so what do you think? Well, obviously you need talent, but what is going to be the biggest factor in you being able to turn this program around and return it to prominence? Maybe not a 20-time you know, Kennedy Cup champion, but uh, at least get you back up to the upper tier yeah, of the standings. I mean, you need players. We need numbers. We need talent. Um, you know, and there's a lot of it out there. There's... Uh, you know, the St. Jude program that I work for, um, you know, I've got a lot of talented kids that, that are on my team. There's, um, you know, Chicago Hawks, the Vikings out of Orland, uh, the uh, Blackbirds out of Indiana. So th there's a lot of talented kids out there. Yep. You know, it's just a matter of them being able to look down the road a little bit more and, and not just, you know, the record this year. Yeah. You know, so. Well, I mean, you think about it, Fergie. I mean, when you... Your last three years at Mount Carmel as a player, 77, 78, 79, you guys win, win the Kennedy Cup. Mm -hmm. You come state back as a state championship in 79 as well. And they've won five state championships in, this, in the program's history. Your last few years as a coach, like we mentioned, four straight Kennedy Cup championships, 97, 98, 99, 2000. If someone would have told you 14 years later this program would have been in the shape it is right now, what, what would, you have, what would your response? I don't believe that at all. So, But... Um, you no, know, it is. Uh, you know, the problem, or I shouldn't say the problem, but I think hockey a little bit is, um, you know, a little more cyclical than it had been yep. in previous years. I know uh, when I left Mount Carmel, you know, I think Rice won a Kennedy Cup. I think Loyola jumped back in the league and won a Kennedy Cup. Um, and then Fenwick went on a roll, yeah, and they won, won you know, they won five in a row. Then Rita won five in a row, and, you, you know, coach. Bennett and Providence have, have traded a couple, so... Yep. You know, that, that, it's probably a little bit more like that than, than it had been in the past. So. Okay. All right, folks, we are going to go to a Lisa Thomas Salon time out. Remember, $27 haircuts for girls, show your high school ID. $17 for boys, just show your high school ID. Holiday specials, go to lisathomassalon.com. You can check it all out. We return more with Mount Carmel hockey coach Craig Ferguson. Stay tuned. make one first impression. So make sure it's a good one with the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club, where it's fun and affordable to get the latest trends. Girls, head to the salon and get pampered for only $27. Guys, get the cut and style you've always wanted for only $17. Or try out our other salon services. It's time to get noticed. Only at Lisa Thomas Salon. Your style, perfect style. If you're looking for delicious barbecue in the Southland, no one does it better than Bonapit Grill and Smokehouse in Palos Heights. Stop in and try our mouth-watering ribs, tender piled-high pulled pork sandwich with homemade chips, or a perfecta combo in our year-round indoor-outdoor patio. Having a special get-together, Bonapit offers a party room for up to 100 people. Want to watch the big game? Fans can do so on one of our many flat-screen TVs and enjoy $10 domestic bucket specials every Sunday. Bonapit Grill and Smokehouse in Palos Heights. No one does barbecue better. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. If you're just joining us, we are at Labriola Bakery Cafe, 3021 Butterfield Road in Oak Brook in the Promenade Plaza. Our guest, Mount Carmel hockey coach Craig Ferguson. 
I mean, you walk in in this place, Ferg, it's impossible not to get in the, in the Christmas spirit, right? <laughs> I mean, it's very, Love very, Christmas. very festive, right? <laughs> very festive. All right, Fergie. Mount Carmel Hockey, there's so many, you know, different youth level programs, and there's so many high school ho hockey programs that are going after those same kids. What is your approach to say to these kids, come to Mount Carmel? Why should they come to Mount Carmel? Well, you know, it's a great school, uh, uh, you know, 115 years, great academics, great activities, um, electives, so forth. Um, you know, it's, it's a rich tradition there. Yep. And there's a rich tradition in, in high school hockey. Um, you know, so that, that's part of it. But, you know, we have a little bit you know, behind us is, is firing, as far as having some successful programs, you know, yep. previously with Mount Carmel and then obviously with St. Rita. So, you know, hoping to capture a little bit that, um, you know, they're, they're thinking that that can happen again. So, yeah, because you got to build numbers, right? You oh, need some without depth, a doubt. Man. You need without depth. a doubt. I mean, I, you know, you, you hear the, the question all the time, you know, can you out coach another coach? And it's, Sure, have better players. So yeah, that, that so, definitely helps, you know, right? That so. helps. All right. So, how much different is it for you? You know, trying to get these kids to come to a struggling Mount Carmel program right now. Though the history and putting on that brown and white jersey, I mean, it, it still means something. Comparatively to when you were at Rita and you were racking up the Kennedy Cups in a two-state championship. I mean, I think in the beginning when we were at Rita, you know, we started similar. You right. know, both uh, struggling. you know struggling, both down and. It, it is, you know, we had a great recruiting class, I think, that first year at Rita, and, um, you know, four years later, those kids were uh, undefeated, you know, Kennedy Cup champs in, in 08. Yep. And then, um, you know, adding on to that, it, it uh, you know, you, but you need players. Yeah. I mean, you need, you need numbers, and... Just got to get that ball rolling. Yeah, a exactly, bit, right? I mean, exactly. You know, we've had a lot of interest, and, uh, but, you know, it was, you know, Marist and... Brother Rice, especially St. Rita, Mount Carmel, probably all, you know, going after, same you know, guy, right? some of those same kids. Um, you know, Fenwick and Providence and Bennett are, you know, different geographically. Um, They're Switzerland. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, it, you know, St. Ignatius wasn't really a factor. Now you know, a factor. Right. When I took over at St. Rita, and, and now they're a factor. They've got a good program. Their, their youth club down there, the, the Jets are... are you know, a, a very good, well-run program with a lot of talent there. So, and the you know, public schools are a little bit better. Some of them, Sandberg, yeah, yeah, Sandberg, yeah, so definitely, definitely. That, that, yep, that has an impact too. Yeah. So you've already played St. Rita, but you weren't at that game. I you was were not attending at that game. to your other responsibilities. Right, right. So I coach a, a Bantam team for for St. Jude, Jude and my uh, alumni. Right, so uh, mine good. too. Yours too. And uh, I had, uh, I, I've committed. I committed to that team. You know, at the beginning of the year. So. I told them I wouldn't miss any games. Mount Carmel knew that when they asked me to yep. come back. So, no, I wasn't there. So I don't, You're a I, man of your word. I, I, yeah, definitely. That's it, man. But, um, What's uh, it we'll, going to be like? We'll see him again. It'll be a little Are you different. Be well I, I don't think it will be that bad. When I took over at St. Rita, the very first hockey game I coached for St. Rita was against Mount Carmel. So. And that had to be a little bit different. That was, was a little bit modern, different, man. right? You know, right. that's that's. So, yeah. Well, I remember It'll that. Man. You talk about an uproar. That was that was that yeah. was good stuff. That's a that's a that's a you writer's like that dream stuff. of sports. Yeah, that's I what I'm looking like for, stuff. man. I love dig into that stuff. Um, if you didn't believe you could turn this thing around, would you have taken a job? No. You no. believe you can get this baby, sure. and it's going to be probably the Definitely. most satisfying, you know, experience of your career. If you well, can I, do this I, one. I just want to. You know, and I'm just a, a, a part of it. I, you know, we're we're trying to get Mount Carmel back on the map as as far as a, a destination for kids to play hockey. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm I'm not. We're not saying that there's going to be a trophy. You know, at the at the end of it or anything like that. But you know, we we're looking for respectability. That's what yeah. we really want to get. And and you can't. You won't go anywhere initially until that happens anyway. Yeah. So. Well, Fergie, based on your track record and the type of person you are, I have a real strong feeling this baby's going to get turned around. It won't, it's not going to we'll be next see. year. I, give you a, give you a good two, three years. I think the the caravan will be inching up in those standings a I little hope bit. So. And, I hope so. You know, because hey, who doesn't want to play for a guy that's won as many? You know, you have more rings than you have fingers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kennedy Cup rings and state yeah. championship rings. I mean, come on. I mean, all things being equal, had good players. You had so, good players, but you got players. the players over there and you maximize their talent. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what it's all about, man. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, I don't know about parents, but I know the kids love playing for you. Yeah. So 
that's, that's what important. matters. I mean, you, you're looking at a four-year experience. You want them to have a great experience. And, you know, anybody who coaches youth sports knows that, you know, sometimes parents get in the way of that a little bit. But yep. I've never really had any, hey, you, you know, huge it. problems. No. No one, no, no one ever so buzzing me and telling me that it's, you know, Craig's, you yeah. know, they, they're, I really, no. I'm being honest, no one's I, ever. You know, if you put the focus on the kid, I, I think that works out. Uh, that works out, so. All right, Fergie, well, I appreciate you coming Thank on board you. again, my man. Thanks for having me. Good luck the rest of the season. I'll be out. It's hockey season for me now. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Football's over, hockey's here, so I'll be out at some, some games, absolutely. All right, great. All right. All right, folks, we are going to go to an athletics timeout when we return. The general manager of Labriola Bakery Cafe, Hans Larson, will be our guest. We're going to see some good stuff out here. Talk a lot of things Labriola. So stay tuned. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza we decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a half sausage for you and your husband and a half just cheese for the kids who never seem to stop moving. Go ahead and take the night off, Mom. I got you covered. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Since 1970, Standard Bank & Trust has been a landmark at the corner of 95th and Western. Now there's a new, state-of-the-art Standard Bank at the same convenient location and better equipped to serve your needs. So stop by and meet our friendly, professional staff. They provide personalized service and a wide range of products to help both businesses and individuals reach their financial goals. In the Evergreen Park area and in communities all over Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana, we're your neighborhood bank. Learn more at standardbanks.com. Member FDIC. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show. Our next guest, General Manager of Labriola Bakery Cafe in Oak Brook, Hans Larson. Hans, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, Pat. How are you? Very good. Thanks for coming on board. I mean, you're, you're talking about desires right here, man. You're doing everything <laughs> I can not to grab at some of this delicious food from the cafe. Let's talk about some of this food right here. Yeah, I'd love to. So um, front and center, we have one of the things that we're best known for. It's the Richie Burger. It is our best-selling item that we have on the menu. Uh, half a pound black Angus that is custom ground for us on our world famous pretzel bun that um, it's just it's a simple cheeseburger with beautiful cheese on it but it, when you do simple things right it's an amazing thing so the taste isn't simple well simply delicious but it's right. beyond delicious so, exactly yeah. so the just letting those ingredients speak for themselves it's a it's a great burger um, we like to have fun with the burgers that we do um, and so every Monday we do special sandwiches and things like that over uh, to the far side here, we have the Caprese Burger, which, you know, it's, it's like a burger meets the salad. You've got the fresh mozzarella, you've got the a basil pesto, fresh basil, tomato, balsamic glaze on our fresh baked ciabatta. It's, it's a fantastic sandwich, yeah. so uh, wonderful, wonderful thing there as well. Um, this is our Orchetti alla Bolognese. All of our sauces, everything that we do in-house here is from scratch. We're really proud of that. Yep. Um, and so it's, it's, it's a classic Italian dish. Uh, done at a level that most other restaurants don't. Um, we're really excited about our holiday pies and things like that this season. So I have our chocolate cream cheese pie here. Uh, so folks, for Christmas Eve, things like that, they'll yep. be, uh, you know, calling us and, and, and seeing how we can help them with, with their, their dessert plans and things like that. And so we've got that in front of you as well here yeah, today. Yeah, and so. I, I have to say, I, I've had the pasta, I've had the Richie Burger. This baby I might have to knock down a little bit later, but the, the homemade <laughs> chips are outstanding, folks, and, and the hand-cut fries are as well. Um, all right, so two new locations are opening up. Yep. One, another Labriola Bakery Cafe, mm -hmm. 535 North Michigan. Yep. And then you guys are going to open up a pizza bar, not too far away, 151 North Michigan. Yep. Let's talk about the differences between the cafe in Oak Brook mm -hmm. and the cafe that's opening up on 535 North Michigan. So what we wanted to do is take what we have here what our guests love so much and just expand on it. So 
we have the classic cafe menu that people love, um, but we're also going to have a full service component to the restaurant where people can go in and get a, a nice bottle of wine, uh, get a nice cocktail, and uh, a beautiful steak, things like that. Yep. Um, we've got a great chef on board with us, Chef John Caputo, who has uh, put together just an absolutely outstanding full service menu uh, to go along with the, the traditional things that you have here at the cafe. So we're really excited. We see that as a next step for who we are as a restaurant family, being able to grow and expand our identity and um, you know, carry our commitment to, to food quality you know, even higher up the menu. and, and really kind of show off at our magnificent mile location. Yeah, there. absolutely. So. Wow, that sounds delicious. Um, and now the pizza bar. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the, the niche here? It's going to be a little bit different, right? Not it your is. traditional type of pizza. It is. So um, Rich Labriola, his, his father had pizza restaurants and things like that. And so he knows this well. He's grown up with pizza. It's, it's uh, in his blood in many ways like, like bread is. And what he wants to do with that is take a, a, a classic Chicago style pizza, not, not the deep dish, but that thin crust pizza that we think about with Chicago style and just elevate it to something a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit, uh, a little more special. Um, and do that in, in, a, in a sophisticated atmosphere with a beautiful bar, full complement of drinks and things like that. Yep. So again, taking, taking classic dishes, taking things that people know and love and, and, and putting our twist on it with our passion for food quality and all that. So, yep. Well, I've had his Neapolitan pizzas here that are dynamite and I know sometimes they'll make a little bit of a thick thicker crust. It's kind of similar to St. Donatus Carnival Pizza back in Blue Island where you know him and I are familiar with and yeah. it's delicious. So looking forward to that. That's going to be nice as well. Yep. And then he's got, you guys are involved with Stan's Donuts and I know yes. yeah, there's a couple different locations we should mention. When will the two new restaurants open up? It's a great question. So the Mag Mile Cafe location at 535 North Michigan, that's going to be opening up uh, middle of January. So we're right, right around the corner on that. Yep. Just putting all the finishing touches. We're really excited. Uh, the Pizza Bar location downtown, that is going to be more uh, sort of probably early summer. Um, we're still working out the details on that, but that will be you know, with us uh, sooner rather than later. And we actually have another pizza bar location that's going to be right here in this neighborhood in Oak Brook that should even be open before that, that, location, that, right? uh, that yeah, the second location downtown. So the first pizza bar location here in Oak Brook will be around April. Okay. And then there'll be that second pizza bar downtown again on Michigan Avenue sometime in the summer <laughs> this year. So, <laughs> you know, excuse me for laughing, but you know, Rich is so busy. Chief Doughboy, Rich Lev real i yep. just the guy's got to be losing his mind right now with all this expansion <laughs> and you know he's doing a lot of juggling yep. and one of those places is stan's donuts yep. um so y you got the one-off damon right in, yes. uh, in wicker park and yep. now you got that one in streeterville that just opened up about three weeks ago right that's correct yeah so stan's donuts it's it's the latest addition to the labriola restaurant family and again it's it's you know from scratch incredible quality and it's been it's been more successful than we ever could have imagined. Yeah. Rich has high expectations, but uh, it's exceeded even our best projections. And so we're really excited about what's happening with that. Uh, we have a third location that's going to be opening up downtown again, hopefully early summer. So that that's just exploding too for yeah, us. Yeah, that's. Uh, I checked out the one in Wicker Park, and I had a peanut butter banana chocolate donut. It was unbelievable. Yeah. So like everything here, folks, you, you come to Labriola Bakery Cafe when they open a location downtown. Check it out. If you're on a Mag Mile, the the pizza bar is going to be fantastic. Fantastic, but it's gonna be nice that you're gonna have another one in Oak Brook too. Yeah. So a lot of great things to be had: desserts, breads, foods, pastas, burgers. It's rich, is high quality. That that's what he's all about, man. Yeah. So that's awesome. Hans, thank you very much. Thank you. Pat. I appreciate, really appreciate you for coming it. on board, folks. We are going to uh, Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout. When we return, players of the week and textbook questions. Stay tuned. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato, and of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria. Conveniently located in the Oak Brook Promenade. You can only make one first impression. So make sure it's a good one with the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club. 
where it's fun and affordable to get the latest trends. Girls, head to the salon and get pampered for only $27. Guys, get the cut and style you've always wanted for only $17. Or try out our other salon services. It's time to get noticed. Only at Lisa Thomas Salon. Your style, perfect style. If you're in the mood for some of the finest barbecue in the Southland, then Bonapit Grill and Smokehouse in Palin Slice is a place for you and your family. Whether it's ribs, chicken, brisket, pulled pork, or any other barbecue favorites, Bonapit serves up a flavor explosion in a championship form. We also offer steaks, seafood, sandwiches, a mouth-watering nachos platter, and salads in a casual atmosphere, with the option of either dining inside or on our heated patio. Watch the big game in our full-service bar, or call ahead for pickup. Bonapit in Palin Heights. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. All right, folks, standard bank text poll question of the week. When was the last time Mount Carmel Hockey won a Kennedy Cup? We mentioned it when Craig Ferguson was our guest a few minutes ago. Text A for 2006, B for 2000, C for 1999. Text your answer A, B, or C to 708-365-8501. Text your number three with the correct response. Wins a $50 gift card, compliments of standard bank. The Labriola Bakery Cafe Golden Baguette Player of the Week. Ironically, we don't have any baguettes. They are completely wiped out here for the night at Labriola Bakery Cafe. Amazing. Eisenhower boys basketball player Vinnie Curta scored 29 points to lead the Cardinals to an 84-71 win over Bremen and scored 37 points during a 115-103 win over Prospectus Calumet. Hook him up with a $25 gift card. Compliments of Labriola Bakery Cafe. And it's apropos. Rich Labriola, owner proprietor Eisenhower grad like yours truly so we'll hook up Vinnie Curta the Lisa Thomas Salon Team Club Player of the Week Providence Girls Basketball's Mary Fashingbauer scored 28 points and pulled down seven boards to lead the Celtics to a 53-55 win over Joliet Catholic we're gonna hook up Mary with a nice goodie bag compliments to Lisa Thomas Salon and the Bona Pit Grill and Smokehouse Coach of the Week I hook Craig Ferguson up because he's the man but I'm also gonna hook up Hillcrest Boys Basketball Coach Don Houston Hawks are off to a 5-1 start. Hook him up with a $25 gift card. Compliments of Bone and Pit Grill and Smokehouse in Palos Heights. The best barbecue in the Southland. Folks, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks to Labriola Bakery Cafe for the hospitality. Have a good one. We'll see you next week.